This period is a time of sober reflection. I enjoy you to reflect on the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross for you. And after that reflection, determine never to offend him again. I know a lot of us have offended Christ in different ways. You may ask me, how have I offended him? Did I go to heaven to do that? But that is a question that a newborn baby will ask. Do have a sober reflection this period. God bless you. Today, by the special grace of God, we are looking at a topic that says... What do you see? And the Bible passage for today is John 19, 1 to 18. This is talking about the processes that went through to the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ before he was crucified and put on the cross. The visit to Pilate, the demands of the people, the chief priest them and so on the crown of thorn on his head, his clothes that was torn, and so many things. That is what the passage of today is talking about. Our memory pass a memory memory verse is John 1 29. And it says, The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him. And say yet, Behold, the lamp of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Let us pray. Blessed Redeemer, you are the lamp of the God, of the, the lamp of the world. You are the one that taketh away the sins of the world. You sacrifice yourself in order to save mankind, to save every one of us. Father Lord, we give you all glory, all honor, all adoration. Even as we remember today that great sacrifice that you did for us. Help us to have a sober reflection. Help us to ponder on it. Help us to remember all that you did for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And then in the Lord started today's topic by saying that you as a person should imagine that you are right at the scene of Jesus Christ's crucifixion and you are looking at him on the cross. He said, what do you see? You will be right if you say, I see a man in pain. He had been beaten and a crown of thorns had been placed on his head before his crucifixion in John 19, 1-18. Someone else may say, I see a man who is naked because according to Matthew 27, verse 15, or verse 35, They even took his garment away from him. That is the highest level of shame that a man can experience. To be naked in front of multitude. Another person could also say, I see a man being ridiculed. According to Matthew 27, 39-44. says people that we are passing by we are saying he saved others himself he cannot save though he had the power to call for angels to rescue him he chose to 
endure the ridicule so that you and I can have a chance of spending eternity in heaven. You have to imagine. Imagine that the president of the most powerful country in the world holding a device in his hands with which he can call on his army anytime. Yet, he subjected himself to some terrorists who were about to kill him and we are mocking him. You call yourself the president of a nation with weapons of mass destruction? Look at you now. You cannot save yourself. That is similar to what Jesus did just so that you and I will not perish in hell. It is clear to us without any doubt that when you look at Jesus on the cross, you will see a man in sorrow. You cannot be in pain, naked, in shame, ridiculed, and be joyous. Isaiah saw the scene of Jesus' death many years before He was born here on earth, and he called him a man of sorrow. So if you take a closer look at Jesus as he hung on the cross, you will see a man in love. A man so much in love with you and I that he went through the highest level of physical and the emotional pain in order to save our soul. Thank God he resurrected on the third day. Thank God that he has made eternal life available to all those who surrender their lives to him. Beloved, we must not let that sacrifice go in waste. You must not live your life for the devil. Live your life for the one who loves you so much that he gave his life for you. Whatever you do, whatever you do, let your focus never depart from Christ. Look up to Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Look up to Jesus, the one that endured shame, ridicule, nakedness, pain, in order to save you from hellfire. Remember, that today is still early for every one of us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our hymn today is hymn 16, which says, Praise Him, praise Him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. Let us sing, let us rejoice. Let our mouth of praise and worship be open today. For we are celebrating the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, I am that I am, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, the Rose of Sharon, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He that was, is, and will be the all-sufficient one. Yarubo Ojo, the I am that I am. Emini Tije Emini. Remember, he's the one you celebrating today. It is not about you, but about Christ. He is the reason for this celebration. 
do remain blessed, my beautiful ones, until we meet tomorrow. Before I go, I won't forget to appreciate my returning subscribers. And as many as that breezing into my channel, whether by chance or intentionally, I appreciate you. May you be highly blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. But if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and the good Lord will bless you. Give me a like if you like this video. What do you see? Whenever you think of Jesus Christ on the cross, what do you see? What comes to your memory? Always ponder on that. It is by from me.